Hi folks, my name is Vladimir Palfi and in today's video tutorials I'd like to focus on the extent feature with Creo Parameter 3.0. I'd like to start from scratch and show you some examples how you can use this feature. I will start with new 3D model like Sheet Metal and I will set a name. System start with original three datum planes and coordinate systems and we can use the extrude feature or planet feature the revolve feature is up to you and for example this one okay base shape will be really easy it will be some straight line and you can see here that I have a misclick or I, I made a misclick. So I need to extend this line, it's not a problem. You can select the end of the line and use the control button and system automatically extend the line. I'd like to show you one more time. So you can create any line and if you need to extend this line, you can select control button and extend line. So system automatically attached to the existing line and your shape is connected. It's a really similar to corner, but sometimes the corner is not possible to use. And over here, maybe I will show you the example. So you have shape like this, and then you would like to create an arc feature. And sometimes you will select only the necessary things. And right now you need to connect these edges. I will switch off the dimensions for now because we, I don't want to focus on the dimensions. And right now I'd like to show you how you can use the extent directly in the sketch. So select end point and extend the line. And again, you can select end point of the curve and select. Okay. Again, you can go back and select edge or line and connect. Right now you can see the system automatically close this shape and everything is created nicely and smoothly. So over here in the sketch was example how you can extend the lines. Okay, but we would like to continue with the sheet metal feature extend. So I will go back in my sketch and we can change the dimension for the sketch. So for example, 150 and again, 150, doesn't matter. Okay. Fine. The system will create for me extra feature with some dimension. For example, the thickness of the sheet metal flat will be two millimeters. And I'd like to go symmetrically from the sketch plane to both side and we can again set some value. Everything is created perfectly. You can see here that my sketch plane is in the middle right now and we can continue. Okay. So you know from my previous tutorials that if you need to create a, another flat, you can use the flat or flange feature. It's depending if you would like to have a look from front or to the sweep side. Okay, so right now we can specify the high, but I like to focus on that line. So if I will set offset value to two millimeters, the system automatically create co correct edge treatment for me. And I like to finish it. But over here you can see that the system will extend the surface directly here. So everything is fine, but I like to focus on that edge. So if I will select the first feature and then one more time the edge, the system automatically show me the extent function in Creo. And you can add or remove the material. Yes. Yeah? So right now I will, I would like to remove but I'd like to remove the selected surface. So over here you have two possibilities. You can select the first one. I'm sorry, it's fine. 
and select the surface and system will create what we need yeah so right now we have a really nice shape here okay so it was the first example how you can use the extent if you need to work with edge treatment and what about sheet metal cuts so i will create the sheet metal cuts here and i'd like to create for example the rectangle shape here again i need to use the reference so if you in the sketch if you use the alt button the system will ask you for the reference and you can automatically select the reference and again you can confirm and i will change it a little bit and for now again you know that is the possible to change dimension and values so it's okay i will confirm and system automatically can create a sheet metal cuts yeah over here is the icon that the system will create cuts to the next surface and it's defined i'd like to sh create and show the new tutorials and more information about sheet metal cuts so stay tuned and you will see and learn more about sheet metal cuts okay we need to focus on the extend feature and if you would like to extend the su surface or edge you can need to select this edge and then select the function extend and you can remove or add material yeah so it depends what you need to do how you would like to extend the selected edge over here on the end of the line you can see there is some options and the system asks you would like to create a normal to extend edge or along bounding edge so for now it's a normal so system going down directly or I will change it along bounding edge and you can see the system will change it one more time go back yeah or go along bounding edge it's working about removing material or adding material so you can specify the dimensions or you can specify selected surface or datum plane and the system will attach to necessary planes if you leave it over there you have the another option how you would like to drive and you can see that is the possible to change this option directly from the ribbon for extend feature i hope so that you like my example how to quickly create and use the extend feature with Creo Parametric 3.0. Thank you. Bye-bye.